Today is Monday, July 9th. You know what that means, guys. That means all of you are finally up to date with where we are right now. No more huge <laughs> delays. The great thing about me making so many videos on that little trip is it allowed me to come back and really focus on my DJ gigs without having to have an additional ounce of stress about getting you guys out of video when my gigs have been like three, four, five of them in a row, just like, ugh, it's been so freaking busy. And I don't wanna record all my DJ gigs because that's not what I want for this channel, but it's been so awesome to get that chunk of money to throw out my debt, so hopefully I will be out of this hole of debt I've been living in my whole life, thanks to this van, by the end of this month. Yes, bye bye debt. You're no longer welcome in my world anymore. Adios. All right. Now let's update you all with Let's just let's just make this video an update. Wait a minute, before we get this whole thing started, I wanna say welcome to all the new subscribers here to Van City Van Life. Yeah, we'll just welcome. This channel's been growing so fast, it's been like just the, the awesomest feeling, guys, to see things like over 10,000 subscribers, now over 11,000 subscribers, now we're climbing towards like 12,000 subscribers. Oh, that's just crazy. It just blows my mind sometimes that you guys are all here to watch yeah, him. I know. I'm not stupid. I know it's all about this guy. I've come to accept that, and that's okay. Because that's what Disco feels right now. Just gonna show you his butt. Disco, not everybody wants to see your butt. Or your balls. Sensor, sensor. As you could tell from the last couple of videos, I've been super busy doing like DJ stuff. And as much as that may seem exciting to some people, um, it's really been getting, it's, I'm having a battle in my brain because I really honestly just want to make movies. As much as the DJ work is, you know, great, it's extra cash, it's stuff, but it's not honestly what I want to follow right now. Right now, inside of me tells me, I just want to make movies. I just want to wake up every day and focus on one thing and one thing only. Because what's happening right now is that my DJ work's going to get 50% of my energy. You guys get 50% of my energy. So what happens is that both of them lack in what they should be getting. So one of two things always has to happen. you got to drop one and focus on the other. So do I drop YouTube and focus on DJing? No, that's not what I want. I would rather push the DJing aside for a while and give this platform my 100% attention. And that's what I plan on doing after my debt is done. Um, kind of like maybe just experimenting with it for a while, like maybe take September, October, November, December, and just focus on primarily YouTube and see if I can make this my primary income source. Um, I make a very little amount on YouTube right now, but adding the Patreon to it really honestly shows me that this could possibly be something I could do full time. Travel, make travel videos and van life videos and just fun stuff. And the money's gonna be tight, sure it's gonna be tight, but I won't have the bills like I did have before now that the debt will be out of my life. Um, sure, we might be squeezing by a few months, but at least I get to give this 100%, and if I can give this 100%, maybe it'll grow that five or 10% bigger all the way around, and yeah. You guys and me full time, are you kidding me? Where this is my only energy source, I can take everything in here and just right there, every day. Ooh, the videos we could make would be so awesome. All right, update on what's going on with my van, because I know people got some questions about my broken cabinets. Did I fix them? Sorry, guys. Disco's leash is tied to the, tied to the door. <laughs> Disco, you shut the door. One second. All right. <laughs> Disco's got this. Hi, buddy. Like the little climbing, little carabina things, whatever they're called. Yeah, I keep it on there because I usually latch them to the van, but this time I latched them to the door. 
sorry if anybody got motion sickness. My broken cabinets in the back of the van, I fixed my broken cabinet. Look how pretty this thing looks now. Ah, so super nice. So if you didn't catch that video, just about every drawer on here was fully smashed. Yeah, fan build mistakes. But they have all been fully fixed and replaced. Here's what I did. Me being the creative thinker that I am. <laughs> See these nice big cabinets? Yeah, I got four of them. Two in the front and two in the back. I bought another one. And I wasn't gonna buy another one because I was like, do I spend the $100 and buy another one just for the drawers? And then something in my mind clicked. I pulled out that measuring tape and I measured how square that thing was. Then I measured the height of one drawer and then I measured the height of two drawers and I'm like, huh, could I make seriously good use of buying that new cabinet plus using the three drawers I needed out of it and use the top side of that for something else? Hoo 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 hoo. Yep. Ah. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> Let's B-roll this for a second with some music. I don't know, just because I figured it deserves it. that piece was a pretty good idea. Not only does it give Disco a little pedestal to sit on, but it's two extra drawers of storage space, which means less clutter in the front of the van because I found, even now you look, there's lots of stuff on the top. Currently it's only water bottles and a coffee, but I used to just use that as a place to just throw stuff, cables and wiring and, you know, pens and paper. Now all that stuff can go in the drawers right below, and I think it looks pretty damn good. Now, no matter where you look around the van, things just kind of look uniformed. It looks like it was all like, I don't know, fully thought out from the very beginning and planned and built purposely this way. Nah, this thing all just kind of happened to come together with a little bit of luck and some shopping that just freaking worked out. I love it. So. Let me show you what I did on this thing. As you can tell, there's two hinges on the front. I needed to secure the cabinet, but I couldn't secure it so I couldn't move it because right in the front of the cabinet, down there, there's a, there's a little drawer. A drawer where my insurance papers are, if that's all that's really in there. But it's got this little drawer down there that I need to have access to. So, it's a bit of a wiggle to get it out because this piece connects to here, it rubs on this but I can grab this thing and tip it forward and get access to the drawer that's back there. On those times that I do happen to need it. Pretty darn cool. So I still have not yet put the latches on the new cabinets. I know Chrome get on that today and that is what I'm going to do, don't worry. The latches that I was putting on my cabinets, I'm having a really hard time getting them. Home hardware is fully out of stock at the warehouse and every small home hardware store I've been to is out of stock. I've been to Rona, I've been to Lowe's, I've been to Home Depot, nothing. That latch size was must be so popular right now because those guys are all cleaned out of them as well. So today I'm gonna try Walmart and I'm gonna try Canadian Tire, which is another store like that we have here in Canada and see if they've got the latches. They have to look identical or I don't want to put them in here because I want things to look, you know, matchy matchy because <laughs> everything in here looks so good right now. I don't want to have different size latches on some cabinets and not the others. I'm going to wait until they get them back in stock. They figured another couple of weeks, but I'm going to search around today because you never know those two other locations might surprise me. They Walmart might even have them. Who knows? So. Now you guys know. Um, the video you guys watched, because I forgot about that repair video, that would have been yesterday. 
So you guys would have seen that I secured all my cabinets are rock solid. Like they got, some of them have like eight brackets on them now. So I don't think they're moving. And another update. Um, anybody remember Terrence, the guy that helped me put up my walls, the guy that actually put my walls in, he did all the work. Uh, Terrence messaged me. If you caught my live stream, you would have known because he texted me while I was doing a live stream. I'm getting together with him, hopefully this week, if his schedule stays as clear as he's hoping. And we are going to be taking the extra wood that I had from here and cutting them to go over top of my door panels. Um, we're not going to be using that wood look on the doors. Not unless for some reason it looks like freaking magic and maybe I will keep it on the doors. But my plan is to take the same material I want to put on the roof and cover the door panels with it as well. But who knows? If this stuff looks really good on the doors, maybe I might keep it. Maybe I might keep the wood on just the back doors and do the side doors with the same material. The back doors are the ones that are rarely going to be open where the side ones if I'm sitting they're fully open so everybody can see it so I think I might do the upholstery on these ones and maybe keep the wood ones on the back huh see van life you just things just kind of happen as they happen that's the fun thing about living in your van before you build it and building it as you need it is you can just build things the way you want like my van has turned out freaking perfect and functionally it is the most functional thing I could have ever done and that comes from being in it and knowing what you want, knowing what you need. Um, what else did I do in the van? I remounted my uh, carbon dioxide or whatever it is sensor. I mounted it right there above the heater. Um, I didn't remount it after we put the walls in. So I thought I would get that up. And I figured a good place for it would be kind of close to the heater. So, because the heater won't be used right here. The heater will get swung out because it's on a hinge. It'll get swung out when it gets to be used, but I figured if that alarm is closer to the floor and closer to the heater, it would be the first one to know if we have a problem. So far last summer, no pro last winter, no problems at all. I haven't used that heater in I don't know how many months now. There's no need for it. <sighs> what else can I tell you guys in this update? And in yesterday's video, you would have noticed that I am getting a battery in my van. Um, I've done a little bit of research on it and I think I'm just gonna have it running off the alternator because that just seems to be make more sense for me. I'm a city van dweller, so my van is usually moving quite a bit and that should be enough just to drive enough power to that battery to keep me topped up for laptop and stuff I need for video editing and my phone and stuff. Having the additional battery is going to be massive because I've lived the last 10 months in my van with no additional power sources except for what my cigarette lighter in the front provides my laptop and everything for power while I'm driving. So this is like a luxury. I don't really think I need it, but I thought, you know what? You know, I started to pick up some of the supplies. Why not? It's not overly expensive to do it the way I'm gonna do it. It's probably going to be $100 in miscellaneous supplies and then about $150 or so for the one battery I'm going to get. I've decided not to go with an expensive AGM battery even though those deep cycles are highly recommended for van life because of the longevity that they last and how good they are for power. So I'm just going to choose a marine deep cycle battery from Costco because they're $135 and they got like 90 or 105 amp hours or I don't know something like that whatever but for me I'm only running my laptop maybe a fan and that's it I charge my laptop probably twice in a day depends on how much I'm editing and then now that it's warmer having a, a fan running in the van to circulate some air will be great so that's really my only power draw so I'm gonna go with the cheaper battery for now worst case scenario if it doesn't work out in the next two years or a year I'll upgrade the battery to something more like expensive and real and proper. But I'm gonna try the cheaper battery right now because that's what I do on this channel. I experiment with things that aren't overly expensive to find out if you guys really need to go that 300 and some odd dollar battery route or if you can get away with a cheap $130 battery. Hey, whatever, I'll find out, I'll spit the truth at you. I will figure out all this van life, van build stuff the easy way. Why not, right? I've done everything else so simple in my van. 
why not keep everything building forward super simple as well I think that's all we really got for you guys for actual van update stuff um, I will tell you one thing though now that I've been back here and I've been grinding away at so much DJ work there's a lot of frustration going on in my mind because as much as DJing has been my life my whole life it's slowly becoming a passion of the past video editing and creating movies is seems to be my current love and my current passion it's what I think about every day when I wake up you know I haven't had that you know that thought frame with DJing for a very long time you know there was times in my life pretty much my whole freaking life where I woke up and all I thought about was like you know the latest remixes or like making a DJ mix or something epic or booking you know events or like reaching out to people trying to keep myself busy you know I find myself in the last few years not thinking that way anymore and video creating is that first thought in my day so I'm gonna get past these next few months of DJ gigs because I have big gigs booked until probably mid-September then I think I'm going to try as an experiment to just push the DJ stuff aside for the winter season and focus 100% right here on YouTube making this my pretty much all my energy source gets put right here instead of being divided between music and here because I've always told you guys this before if you give something 50% you're only going to get 50% out of it and that's what I find I'm being forced to do here is because you know if I DJ three days on a weekend now that means you guys only get a part of my time because during the week I got the DJ gigs on my mind and I got to deal with like emails and like, whatever goes on with booking the events and keeping them interacted it's taking up time and taking up you know energy in here that I don't want to put there anymore I want to put that love that passion that energy right here so my experiment as of mid-September my focus is gonna be here 100% it's gonna be a tight few months I know for sure because I don't make very much money here on YouTube thank you to my patreons because without you guys the chance of doing this full-time would be squat right now there's no way without my patrons I would be making six seven videos a week there's no freaking way I love you guys and you guys seriously help doing this and sharing our message and spreading the word and keeping like passion and love and weirdness out in the world I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys so thank you and I love you all so end of September 100% focus right here you guys have my word on that one and let's see if we can turn this into something beyond epic bigger than it is now Man, I got so many plans for this channel. So much just excitement going on inside of me for what we could be doing with Van City Van Life, Weirdos Unite, and just spreading the word of just living your life every single day, being who you are meant to be. No more hiding behind BS that's not really you. Wake up and just be freaking who you are, and that's all we want. And I'm excited to take all this excitement in here and dedicate it here 100%. So after these DJ gigs are done, guys, I am finished for a while. I might be finished for good if all this stuff works out as good as I want it to be. Ah! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the little update of what's going on in our world. And uh, I want to say bye to everybody, Disco. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's a little tired from yesterday. <laughs> hey, we're trying to say bye to everybody. Let me give these guys some kisses. <laughs> Look at this guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Rub my belly, Dad. Rub my belly. Hi, buddy. Alright, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Uh, stay positive, be beautiful, and be this guy. Weird all day, every day, right? All right, guys. Adios.